Braun, where are we going? It's Pop Century! Is that the resort we're staying at? Nope! Nope, bye Pop Century! Bye Pop Century! All right, where are we actually going? Art of Animation! Art of Animation! There it is! Animation Woo! All right, hang on everybody. Hang on, whoa, big turn. Look at that! Look Art at of her. Animation! Home sweet home for the night! Never stayed here before, this will be fun. Yeah, I've never stayed here. She's cute. Yeah. All right, we just parked. We really have no idea where we're going. Where, where? I don't see him. Oh, there he goes. Um, but I think we're like literally under the Skyliner. I parked under it, so that's fun and exciting. We made it to our room. We are in a Little Mermaid room. Super cute, super fun, which means it's time for a room tour. All right, we are in 7662. There's the pool, which is fun and exciting. And then this is our room. So we have two beds. I think these ones are doubles. These ones look kind of small. Um, so yeah, got a fun little picture of Flounder and Sebastian. I think this is a queen. Do you? This feels like a queen to me. I don't know. I'll look at the reservation and see. Yeah. Um, some fun little seaweed curtains. And then can't wait to take a selfie in that mirror because that's so cute. I think this is fun. It has like sheet music of under the sea. That's cool. Oh, and the chairs. They got are like little shelves. shelves. Yeah. They already had the channel on. They knew I was coming. They said Brown was coming. Gotta have the channel. Yeah. I think this little um, dresser thing is cool too. Wow. Under the Real sea. under the sea. Caitlin is mad because, okay, I'm going to hold the camera straight. This is how the picture is. It's Why crooked. Is it crooked. I don't know. And it doesn't move. Like it's supposed to be like that. The very first thing I did when I came in here, I was like, oh, let me fix this for them. It, it does, nope, it's doesn't move. Crooked. Yep, not sure why. Got a fun little hook situation. <gasps> Another fun mirror. I like the mirrors here. They're so cute. Fun. This is pretty too. And then, oh, look who it is. Good old the Ariel. The shower too. There we go. Oh, whoa. <gasps> that's so fun. Stop! That's so cool! Why, this is my favorite resort we've stayed at so far. <laughs> the room is so fun. I know. That is the one thing I will say about values is, first of all, this lighting is fantastic. <laughs> but second of all, they do a really good job theming them. Like, even the rooms that are at, I don't know, other value resorts. Like, they just do a really good job. Okay, like, this is a Little Mermaid room. Like, there's literally no mistaking it. Um... So yeah, I think it's cute. I'm excited. Caitlin has therapy right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the tour of the resort without her because we came here when we did our little like um, Skyliner crawl and explored a lot of the resort then, so she has seen most of it. This is my first time ever staying here. This is Caitlin's first time ever staying here. So it's fun and exciting, and all I see right now is Ursula's stomach. <laughs> all right, so there's quite a few people down there, so I don't really wanna go in, but right here we have the pool, which is like literally outside of our room, which is fun. Got a nice big King Triton, Sebastian, and here is Ursula and Flotsman Jetsam. Ariel is somewhere around here. I think she's probably on the other side. I'm not really sure. And then if you can tell, this is like the other side of our building. Um, the Skyliner is right here, which is super fun and super close. There are four different like sections of this resort. There's Little Mermaid, which is what we're in. There's Finding Nemo, Cars, and Lion King. And basically all of them are kind of like the Little Mermaid one that they have like a huge section with a bunch of the big stuff, which is cool. And there's a Skyliner stop. That's Pop Century across the water. So that's also super close. And then the Skyliner will take you to like the main hub, which is at Caribbean Beach. And then from there, you can get one to Riviera and Epcot or to Hollywood Studios. All right, so we're nearing the end of the fish and getting into the Pride Lands. Each section of the resort also has its own pool that's themed, which is cool. There is like a main one, which is Finding Nemo themed, and that's obviously like the pool for that one. Um, but that's the one that's like closest to the lobby and such. And anybody can go to any pool. They just have multiple ones, so it's like more convenient. I assume that all of them are open here. Like at Coronado, there was three pools that weren't open. Um, but the Little Mermaid one was open, which leads me to believe that all of them are. 
I don't know. We'll find out. I'll go past all of them. It's Rafiki. There's also a big Simba. And then down that way, there's a whole like elephant graveyard. There's, who's over there? There's Scar. There's, I don't remember. Basically everybody else. <laughs> Oh wow, that's sad. This pool is drained. I guess they're doing construction and stuff. This is the Big Blue World Pool, so it's the Nemo themed one. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Last but not least, we're headed into Radiator Springs. I think that this one is probably the most like well themed of the four. I don't know why Disney is so good at designing cars areas. Like, I know Carsley and in California Adventure is awesome. I think this part is so fun. They're just so good at it. It's Tomator. I just think this one, like, obviously they have, like, the things like this. Like, they have the giant Ariel and Nemo and all that kind of stuff. But I feel like this one has more, like, other theming, too. I don't know. I just think this one is so cool. Like, look at that. That's awesome. Again, I'm not going to go in there right now. But they do have a Cozy Cone Motel pool. So it has the big cones and such. And then, obviously, just, like, a big pool right in the middle. Cute. And of course, you can't have a car section without Lightning McQueen himself. ka -chow, ladies and gents. So I think I lied about the pool situation. I don't think. I didn't see one. Maybe I'll look at a map. But I don't think the Lion King part has a pool. Um, the Cozy Cone one, which is the Cars Land one, and then the Little Mermaid one, both seem very busy. Probably because those pools are smaller and most people normally would go to the Nemo one. But the Nemo one is closed. So, makes sense that those ones are a little bit busier. Hopefully tomorrow when me and Caitlin go to the pool, they're not too busy. Um, we're gonna go early in the day, so hopefully everybody will be in the parks and it won't be an issue. But yeah, this resort is pretty big. It's not too spread out though. Like, I think our room probably is, I don't know, maybe like a seven minute walk to the lobby. Ah, I meant to go in the lobby. Eh, we'll go in a little bit. I don't want to walk back that way just yet. Um, but it's probably like a seven minute walk to the lobby, less than 10 minute walk to the Skyliner, which is nice. That's one of the big perks of staying here is you have a Skyliner. You don't have to take a bus everywhere. Um, I think we're gonna probably go on the Skyliner tonight. I, I don't necessarily know yet where exactly we're gonna go. It's a Monday night, so Caitlin has class again, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do while she's in class. I'll probably go get dinner, maybe be draw again like I did at Coronado, or I don't know, just hang out. I like this resort a lot. I think it's cute. And if you have kids, like I loved Little Mermaid when I was a kid, I would have died to stay in one of these rooms. Like, I just think they're so well themed and they're so fun. I wanna look up pictures of the other rooms cause I can only imagine how cute those ones are too. I've also seen a bunch of these walking around that they'll have like a concept art sketch and a fun fact about the movie. So obviously all these ones are cars related. But that, I think that's so cool. And then on the outside of the buildings, a lot of them also have sketches of like concept art and such because obviously it's a hotel all about animation. And also, like I said, Pop Century is literally right across the water. Um, so if you want to go hang out there, you want to get food there or something, that's always an option too. I think it's nice that they're kind of like sister resorts, so you can go hang out at more than one place. I am going to head now, though, to go to the lobby. I'll show you that. There's a gift shop and there's a quick service. Those are the only food options here. There is a, like bar that probably has some chicken nuggets or something that's over by the big blue pool it's called the drop off i don't know if we'll go there because that's obviously far from us like i have a feeling we'll probably just go to the little mermaid pool because it's closest but yeah but since there's not a lot of food options here it's fun that the skyliner is right there because you can take it to riviera to the like epcot resorts because the skyliner drops you off in epcot right by beach club yacht club and boardwalk which is what i think we might do tonight i don't know I'm excited. We don't really have set plans. We'll just figure it out as we go along. And here we are at Animation Hall. There's a lot of people in here, so I'm not gonna like show the whole thing, but I'll explain it a little bit. So this is the lobby. One of the cool things is the artwork. It starts down at this end as like very rough concept art. And as you can see here, it keeps going. It gets more detailed, gets more colorful. These are more like storyboards. And then when you go outside, you see them like come to life with all of the huge like architecture things of them which i think is cool so yeah fun rainbow check-in and then over here they have the ink and paint shop which is the gift shop and then landscape of flavors is the quick service obviously i have to get a pin and a mug very excited because they're both really cute i did actually already get this while caitlin still had 
the 50% off discount, but this is the mug. So it has like little sketches of all of the different areas here and then says art and animation at the bottom. I'm gonna wait to buy it until Caitlin's here so that she can nicely buy it with her discount for me. <laughs> but yeah, it's cute, I'm excited. All right, here's a map, this is helpful. So I was right, Lion King does not have a pool. So we're staying in this building here and yeah, right across the water is Pop Century. This is like the main area. Pretty good layout. I don't know what it is or where it is, but they do have a movie under the stars tonight at eight. Um, they do it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So maybe we'll come out and watch a movie tonight. Who knows? Probably depends what it is. We'll see. I will say just from like walking around the resort, I've definitely seen a lot more people than I did when I would walk around Contemporary or Coronado. This is one of the few value resorts that's open right now. This one in Pop Century are open. The All Stars, I wanna say they have an opening date, but they're not open yet. I don't remember, but currently they're not open. Um, so I guess if you wanna stay at a value resort, these are the only two options. And this resort is big, like there's a lot of rooms here. So definitely feels busier than the other two resorts we've stayed at, but I mean, Obviously right now, like there's literally nobody around me. It's not like you're bumping into people, but something to keep in mind, definitely a little bit more busy, especially for it's like two o'clock. I feel like most people normally right now are in the parks, um, but yeah, a lot of people just walking around the resort. Wow, look how I found. Nice and big and a little scary. Who's back? And I don't know if anybody has noticed, but in every single one of these videos, Caitlin has worn one of my new shirts. Um, so to round it out, she had to wear the long live one because that was the last one left. Um, we are going to head over to the Riviera real quick. I am taking some pictures in some new Magical Castle embroidery shirts. This is one of them that we haven't taken a picture of, but we're going to do that here in just a little bit. But I have a Peter Pan one too, which I'll show you in a minute. And I want to take a picture with the Peter Pan mural because I thought that would be fun and cute. Um, so we are going to pop on over on the Skyliner. Do you think we'll have a character or a clear one? I'm going to predict clear. Clear, hopefully, I mean, maybe we'll get Peter Pan. Oh, that, that would really be, be perfect. Probably not, but we'll, we'll try. See. Yeah, um, I wanna see how long this walk is. Yeah, cause it's like, we've it been walking for like close, a minute. but we have to go around. Yeah, you have to like walk around this entire lake to get there. So I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a hike, but not bad. All right, still not to the Skyliner yet, but I'd say it's probably what, solid 10 minute walk from oh, our room. I think it's less than that. Maybe less 10, than that, about 10. Um, I did notice when we were in the lobby, they have a sign that says that there is also buses that go to Epcot and Studios. Um, because I know like we went to the Riviera for breakfast one day and parked at Studios and the line to get from Caribbean Beach to Epcot, granted it was almost 11 a.m. and Epcot opens at 11, but it was like, it looks like an hour long line. Um, so be aware if you're going like at park open, it's gonna be probably a little bit longer, but they do have bus access too, which I think is nice that yeah. like, it's not your only option is to wait in line for the Skyliner. Just talked about it. And there's signs down here too, smart. I think we're gonna have Toy Story. What a nice view. Kate, you love the Skyliner. I do, big fan. Yeah, so our room is right there. Like we literally have basically a view of the Skyliner, but you have to walk around this whole body of water to get to like the entrance. And to your right. Kate's favorite resort, the Pop Century. <laughs> Look at Snow White. My girl. All right, little outfit change. Time for some pictures. Literally, as we were on the Skyliner, I said to Kate, I was like, I don't know why I didn't change before we left the other resort because I knew I was gonna wear this one here, but whatever. We're in it now. Super cute. This one is Peter Pan's Flight. It's part of their new attractions line. Definitely go and check them out if you are interested in some cute new shirts. Y'all already know they're like literally my favorite small shop ever. You just said that Magical Castle Embroidery is your favorite small shop of all time, right? Yeah. You know what mine is? What? Once Upon a Brawn. Ouch, that was cute. <laughs> All right, probably can't hear me over the water, but because this is Peter Pan, we're gonna take some pictures with the Peter Pan murals. These walls and the lighting is so nice right now. It literally took less than five minutes to get the shot. So trying to figure out if we're just gonna like go back to art. Do we wanna hang out here for a minute? Not sure, but pictures are done. Came all this way, figured we needed to like do something. Can you go spin? 
artisan gelato. I'm gonna show it. What is that? Vanilla chocolate chunk. Cause you know, we're out of Italian French. Italian Riviera. Italian. Oh, it's it so French. Is it Italian? French Yeah, I guess it's French. Yeah. But gelato is Italian. I think it's... It's a European. Yeah. <laughs> Treat. Smells good. And water. Hydrate, don't dihydrate. How's the gelato? It was really good. Yeah? Yeah, 10 out of 10. Good, I had some water. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Tiana. I hope we get that one. We won't. We got the Tiana one. Oh my gosh, we got Snow White and then we got Tiana. All oh, my favorites in one. I love it. Guess not. Oh, here's my car. We're going to go right over it. Right there. You celebrate the way Yeah. And communicate. Tag yourself if you know which car is mine. Back at art, ready to take some pictures in the small world shirt. Found this fun little wall, which I feel like is pretty like small world s so we're gonna take some pictures here in the new shirt and i put my small world mask back on because it can't be too matching all right pictures are done i will have magical castle embroideries shop link down below i don't know the exact date of when these ones will come out but go follow them on instagram they always announce their new shirts on there so we can be matching disney noemos never heard of them <laughs> Hashtag go follow me on Instagram. All right, me and Caitlin are back in the room. She's doing her work. I'm about to draw and do my work. We'll it's reconvene. Yeah, it's too hot. I was gonna draw outside, but it's like so freaking hot. I was like, you know what? We have a cute room. I'm just gonna do it in here. All right, just walked to get dinner. Um, we did a mobile order. It's far from our room. Like literally, we're in the building that's farthest from the place. Yeah, you can go ahead and take those off, please. Delicious. <laughs> um, so I got some Alfredo. It came with some very questionable meatballs. I did not want those, but it doesn't give you an option to get it without meat, which is annoying. And then I also got a salad. Kate, what'd you get? Um, you got, got a burger or something? A burger with nice. a side salad. Nice. Yeah. I Good times. Burgers. And we both got waters. Um, so I'm gonna smash this nasty pasta, but I'm very hungry, so it's probably gonna be the best thing that I've ever eaten in my whole life. <gasps> Some Parmesan cheese. Yeah, I got those. Oh. All right. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a nice surprise. No, and I got you ketchup and mayonnaise and honey mustard. Wow, the best. I know. All right, it's a little while later, and one of the fun things, I think, about Art of Animation is that because it's on the Skyliner Loop, is that what it's called, Skyliner Loop? Trail? Trail, the Skyliner, <laughs> the Skyliner yes. Trail. Well, certainly it. Yeah, um, you can obviously like very easily get to a lot of other places. Art of Animation is fun and it's cute, but there's not a ton here. Like, there's a quick service food court, there's a merchandise store, and there's some pools, and that's really it. We could watch Aladdin tonight. I don't love Aladdin, so that's gonna be a pass. Sorry. Um, but we are gonna take advantage of the Skyliner and I think we are gonna head over to the Epcot resorts Epcot's open till 11 p.m. Tonight, so hopefully that means that Yacht Club Beach Club and Boardwalk are gonna be Popping and by popping I mean open without any people there because everybody's at <laughs> Epcot We will see but yeah, we're gonna go on a little Skyliner adventure tonight. Oh my gosh. Hi little froggy He does not move. Touch him I'm nervous. He's resting. I don't want to disturb him. Did you touch him? No. You almost did. I know. I don't want to disturb him though. Hi. He's, he's okay. sleeping. But he might get stepped on. Do you want me to pick him up and move him? Yeah. I'm not doing that. Why? Just touch him so he hops away. Oh, oh. He likes it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's like food. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay, well, have right, a good well, night, little froggy. <laughs> We are being very careful as we walk now. That okay, one was a leaf, but that one's a, a frog. There's frogs everywhere. They're we, literally, we, we passed pass at least six. five. Yeah. Six. There's literally a ton. Some lady like yelled at me because I guess I almost stepped on one. She was like, watch out for the frog. So if you love frogs, come stay at Art, Art of animation. animation. There's a billion. You can't really see it, but by the animation hall is where they've got Aladdin going right now. We're about to pass In the gratitude the TikTok Conway. <laughs> The TikTok musical. What's it called? Yeah. Oh, the Gratitude musical. The, the TikTok musical. TikTok musical. TikTok musical. Yeah. They should have featured it. Just off the shores of Crescent Lake. We're passing 
Made it to the beach club. What do we see? A frog. Freaking frog. Is it frog season? It must be. I don't know. Springtime. Um, beach club is having a facelift, so that's fun. Wow. But we are. I think they're like redoing the fountain. It's not a fountain. The little area. Courtyard area. Courtyard. That's the one. Um, oh my god, I haven't been here in so long. Just look at the rug. God, it just smells so good. Um, but we are headed to Martha's Vineyard because I've heard that they have big milkshakes. It's very quiet. We'll milkshake you. Because the, uh, the beach beach the and cream window is closed. The walk-up order window. Yeah, the restaurant is open, but we don't have a reservation, so can't go there. So we're going to try Martha's Vineyard. I can't think of the word I want to use, but we got a milkshake. Yeah. Me. It's fifteen dollars, but you get to keep the cups. So suddenly, that makes it worth it, mm -hmm. huh? It's a chocolate milkshake with some chocolate fudge in there. It's chocolate fudge and chocolate sprinkles around the rim, and then a chocolate. It says a gooey chocolate brownie with yeah. some whipped cream and more chocolate fudge in there. They have a vanilla option as well that has rainbow sprinkles and a just like vanilla cupcake on the top. It looks like maybe a funfetti cupcake. Yeah, it looks birthday. -y. Um, but we got the chocolate because love chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. It's hard to get it out. It's thick. Probably why Brian. the nice gentleman brought a spoon. Oh, and a plate. Uh -huh. So you put the, um... Ooh, that's a good brownie. Um, how would you rate your time at Martha's Vineyard? 12 out of 10. Yeah, it was good. Um, there's a very loud, obnoxious man at the table next to us, so we really had to skedaddle out of there. Um, but... Milkshake was smashed. We didn't actually drink the whole thing, like clean it this well. I rinsed it out in the bathroom some because obviously we have to take the Skyliner back and I didn't want to like have a be, melting. Milk yeah, like, like that's just place. gross. Yeah. Um, is there anywhere else that you want to like pop over to? Um, the thing know. is, I'm not hungry at all. I know. Oh, I will say about the milkshake though, like when we first got it, it didn't look as big as it actually was no i was like god 15 dollars for this like but there were two of us and we didn't finish it so no keep that in mind if you go there and get one of those yeah They're very good though and our server was so oh, nice i gave him a very nice tip because yeah, he, he was, was just he was the only really one great. there <laughs> he took good care of us yeah like he was super attentive yeah yeah i liked him a lot so i tipped him well yeah um do you other have than the guy next to us it was a great time we had yeah. a little couch in the corner yeah it was area. nice watch some freaking basketball or something <laughs> Um, do you want to pop in a gift shop or anything? We go to the gift shop when we get back to the hotel. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Epcot is closing soon, so I'm interested to see what this Skyliner line looks like. Yeah. We will see. How long do we think this line is going to be? I'm going to say a 15 minute wait. Alright, time it. So, we're in line. Standing from this side, it doesn't look as bad. And it's moving pretty fast. We got mine at 10.10. We'll see how long it takes. It looks so long this way, but when you're standing down there, it's not. What time is it? 10.15, so it's been five minutes. It's been five minutes and we're walking under the sign, so that's a good start. All right, what time is it? 10.23, so 13 minutes. Nice! Hey, it's as close to the door as she could get. Looking at Ratatouille! Look at him! You excited? Okay, they're gonna wait from the door, you're a little too close. There's no line. Well, sort of. There's like three families ahead of us for Pop and Art. Yay! Don't worry, everyone. Kate's frog friend is still here. We got back to our room at Art, and it's time to talk logistics. So, here's the thing. I feel like part of this resort is value, and part of it is moderate. That is what I've heard, but this resort is classified as value like when you search it it's value but i do think they have some rooms that are like maybe technically moderate i don't really know but we are definitely in a value room and the way this hotel or like our section is set up is definitely value um so obviously we're in the little mermaid section i think i paid with tax like right around 100 for the night with a cast member discount I will double check that when I get the email of my bill in the morning, but I'm pretty sure it was around 100. 
Um, and this was actually the cheapest, which I was very surprised by because I've never stayed here. This is my first time staying here. Um, and that's because I've stayed at all of the other values. Like I've stayed at all three all-stars. I've stayed at pop because normally those ones are like under a hundred a night and here is like 200. So when this one was so cheap, I was very excited. Like I said, all-stars are still closed. Pop is open, but I don't think they had any availability slash we just wanted to stay here. Like this seems... Yeah, Kate hates pop, even though she's been there for 0.3 seconds. So she also requested Art of Animation. I looked up the price um, for just like a normal person that wanted to come. And I want to say it was like maybe upper 200s, around 250. Like it wasn't crazy. Um, even though it's spring break time, which I was surprised by. This resort has felt much more busy than the other ones have. Maybe it is more busy, I don't really know. Um, but this is like, when I'm walking around, there's always people. Um, it's not packed, but I just am more aware that there's like people around. I think one of the biggest plus sides to this resort is the fact that the Skyliner is right there. And especially if you're doing like, not a park day, I think that's definitely something to take advantage of because there's really nothing here. Um, there's three pools, one of which is closed right now. So there's two smaller ones. There's one quick service restaurant and there's a merchandise shop. They do a movie on the lawn. They probably have Mickey tie dye like the other resorts did. But other than that, like there's really nothing to do. It's fun to walk around and like see the resort because it is really cute. But like, I don't know, that's only fun for so long, I guess. So it is, I like that it's on the Skyliner like loop, track, whatever it is, because there's obviously a lot of fun stuff on the Skyliner and like we got to go to Martha's Vineyard tonight, like we went over to the beach club, we went to Riviera today, that we wouldn't have done that had we not been staying here. Um, we are gonna have breakfast here tomorrow and I think instead of eating in the room, we're gonna like go down there and eat it. Um, and hopefully gonna go to the pool. It seemed pretty busy today, both of the pools. So if they're busy, I like don't really wanna go. Um, so I definitely think we won't stay here as long tomorrow as we stayed at the other resorts. Like the other ones I like literally didn't wanna leave. But I feel like here, I'm excited to stay here. Like I really like our room, I think it's cute. There's just not a ton here. Like this one very much feels like we're just staying in a hotel rather than it being like a huge, like different luxury than my normal life. Does that make sense? I don't know. We're gonna go to bed. We will see you in the morning. Have a good good morning, everybody. Day two at Art of Animation. We just got up, got dressed, and we are gonna head down to Landscape of Flavors, which is the quick service restaurant, and we're gonna eat breakfast there today. The last two hotels we stayed in we ate breakfast in the room but i feel like we haven't explored a ton of this resort and we've spent a lot of time in the in the room so we're gonna go to the restaurant to eat breakfast this morning it's a little busy in here it's a little loud but it's fine whatever we got our food got some cute little i guess it's nemo waffles you got nemo too huh yeah i think that's dory maybe oh yeah oh is Dory on this side? Oh, cute! I didn't even know there was one on the other side. It's Nemo and Dory. Yay! Time to get a mug. Pick a good one. Is it good? Yeah. Nice. Well, it's still closed. I was hoping maybe overnight they would fill it up, but no. All right, made it to the pool. Okay, found some chairs. Good, good, good job to her. It's a little busy, but we're gonna have fun. It'll be fine. We're gonna get some sun. I'm not gonna stay here too long though. All right, we're leaving the pool. We're leaving the resort. Um, we stayed at the pool for like maybe an hour. It just, not a lot going on. No, and it was busy. There was a lot of kids. So like we didn't want to get in the water. And I don't know, there wasn't a lot of chairs available. So like the ones we were in weren't great. It just like wasn't the best. Had the main pool been open, the Nemo one, maybe that one would have been better or at least like there would have been less people. Yeah, like more people would have been at that one. We didn't even walk over to the Cars one because I feel like that one probably would have been just as busy and I didn't want to walk all that way to like just have it be just as busy. Like that's dumb. So I think we are headed out. We'll give you a little rundown once we're back in the car. All right, we're back in the car. We need to go drive around to the front of the resort because 
I took pictures in front of all of the all of the resorts like while we were doing the tours and since I did the tour on my own yesterday just like completely forgot that I needed to take a picture so we're gonna run and do that um yeah one of the things I wanted to say about the pool also is it is interesting to me that at all of the different pools like between the deluxe moderate and value the biggest thing I noticed is the difference in the chairs like at the contemporary they were padded super nice Coronados were, I don't even know how to describe them. They're like fabric, yeah. at least, but they weren't squishy. And then the ones here are like the ones at your neighborhood pool, like the plastic, plastic. strip ones, um, which is just interesting. So Contemporary definitely had the best pool chairs. Um, but yeah, this concludes our trilogy of resorts. Me and Caitlin are gonna do like a sit down video in the next little while of like, our thoughts of the whole thing so that I don't just like shove it in the end of this video um like comparing yeah different parts of all three yeah but what did you what are your thoughts on here what did you like what did you not like um I mean obviously I think the best thing about this one is the price right like if you really are truly just like going to the parks yeah and you just need a place to stay and you know take advantage of the the transportation and stuff like this is a, a great one but if you want like a really like a hotel experience, this ain't, I, it. this ain't it. I think that there was a much Whoa. bigger difference in the resort experience yeah. between this one and Coronado than the difference between Coronado and Contemporary, but the price of Coronado is comparable to this one. So I believe that Coronado is the best value of the three that we stayed at. Yeah, I paid, I got my bill this morning. I paid, what, $96, yeah. $98 or something for this one. So under 100 and I paid 110 for Coronado, but paid 250 for Contemporary. Yeah, so this one and Coronado is $15 difference, but the experience of Coronado. Coronado's, is yeah. Much more, it, it's much more of an experience. Yeah. Than just like a room you stay in. Like That's here. the thing, here, like, it's a nice resort. Like there wasn't anything wrong with it. There's just nothing here. Right. But I think like, again, if you're just going to the parks and this is, this would be so much fun for like little kids. Like there's I mean, a Lion so King much fun section. For me. I know. Well, I mean, I love the Lion King. If I would have come here when I was a little kid, I would have lost my absolute mind yeah. staying in the Lion King section or really any of them. So this is the most really like fun. Disney resort yeah. to me. I think the difference between this and like contemporary or other deluxe and even some of the moderate is those are nice resorts. These are fun resorts. Yeah. You know? This isn't really the kind of resort that like you're gonna come and stay for a week and like just hang out at hang the out resort. at the resort. Yeah. yeah, I definitely think like I mean there's fun pools and stuff that like have a pool day or two, but yeah, there's not much here. It was still nice yeah, and really like good time. yeah, if we were going to the parks, then this would be like a great choice. But as far as staying here and not going to the parks. I mean, you can still get to everywhere else. Like obviously we took the Skyliner last night to the beach club. We took it to the Riviera earlier in the day that if you are staying here and you wanna do some of that stuff, like you have direct transportation, which is nice, but you do have to take transportation to get there. It's not just already at your resort. But overall, it was a nice time. Yeah, I had fun doing this little series. I know a lot of y'all really enjoyed it, which, makes me happy i didn't know how this was really gonna go down um so i'm glad that you all liked it i don't know if i will do it again because it was a little expensive <laughs> but maybe in the future let me know if there's somewhere that i didn't stay that you would really want me to do a little review of and i'll see what we're working with thank you so much for watching and we will see you again real soon bye, bye.